Good afternoon and welcome to episode 21 of Pondering Fridays with Bina. This is the third time that I've tried to film this. Uh, people keep phoning me, so let me just wait way through it because um, obviously I am in a lot of demand this afternoon. Childhood trauma and the way that it manifests into adulthood, that's what I want to speak about. I was, and not many people know this, I don't really talk about it ever, I was terribly bullied at school threatened with beating up. I intercepted letters of girls talking cuck about me in maths class and whatever else, like how shit I look and what a slut I am and blah, blah, blah. All but eight people at one point when I was in Senate 7 and the whole of high school were talking to me um, and admitting that I even existed. And it all stemmed from one girl's insecurity and jealousy around the fact that I was friends with her boyfriend but had been before they met even. So I'm not going to unfriend somebody because he has a girlfriend now. Anyway. Um, or is that what you do? Like, the minute somebody starts dating, you're just not friends anymore because somebody's going to get jealous. Anyway, so she managed to defame my character so much so that even the matrix at that point, when you think, shit, these girls are 18, they should be mature enough to understand that. This little 14-year-old girl's going through some hectic shit, being threatened and pushed around and shoes thrown in the toilet and stuff stolen out of her bag and oh it was just it's giving me a oh, it was terrible anyway um looking back at that little girl fuck she was strong i don't know how i don't think i would be able to do it now uh the way that i was treated back then you <laughs> these chairs <laughs> sorry um Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little 14-year-old girl. Fuck, she managed to... I used to picture myself putting on a coat, um, one of those ones that the monks wear, and imagine myself not... Or, you know, being invisible so that nobody could see me, and I was invisible at school, and it was the only thing that really kept me, it kept me alive. Sundays were the worst part of my life because it meant that I had to go to school the next day. And... At the same time that was happening, I remember realizing that family isn't... Yes, you have your family, but you can also choose your family. And I'll forever be grateful for the people that I met in my karate class, in my karate dojo and my team. They were, and still are, like some of my favorite people in the world. Um, so if you're listening... Uh, and I just, yeah. The point of this is that I wonder whether what, what I went through then if it's affecting me now as a 33-year-old young woman. I'm still a young woman, I like to think I'm still a young woman. Uh, and it probably is, but at the same time, it's, yes, I've grown some, it helped me grow some huge balls. I'm able to spend a lot of time by myself because I learned early on in my life to enjoy my own company and has literally made my personality and how I react to other people black and white. Like, you burn me, burn me once. It's not like shame on you. What is it? Fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, whatever that one is. Like, you fool me once, done, you cut, bye. Bye, Felicia. Done. I'm like, I'm so black and white in that way. And I don't forgive easily, which is maybe not a good thing, but it's just who I am. Anyway, if there is something that happened to you, and this is something I've been dealing with, I'm meditating on it. I didn't go to trauma counseling, which I should have, but you know, the adults didn't know because girls are very sneaky in that way, how horrible they think me. I thought the parents. Or the staff would have known a little bit more, but nobody. So I can't blame them for that. Um, but maybe there's something that you are projecting into your daily life now that stems from childhood that you don't even know. So maybe it's time you think about, wow, this, this little thing is triggering me. Why is it? Is it because of this or something happened? Like, do I have abandonment issues because my mom left me? Um, that is the case in my life as well. But I don't know if I have abandonment issues. I'm quite independent and don't really um, fear anybody dropping me from from their life in any way mm. anyway so that's what i'm talking about childhood trauma it's real shit happens and we hold it in and we deal with it and we all emotional humans and sometimes it takes uh, many 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 years to clear what you have gone through um before i need to go nobody's called me on this one yay uh, when i just finished with a, a quote that i saw that i really thought was pretty pretty lacquer it said 
if you have the opportunity or the ability, if you have the opportunity to help somebody, you should do it gladly and with all the love in your heart because chances are you are the physical manifestation of that person's prayer and you literally delivering the person's prayer from the universe to them. So if you can help somebody, help them because you don't know what they've been praying for and maybe all along they were praying for you. That is all for now. Um, happy Friday. Time to have a little drinky poo. Um, namaste. And catch you on the other side. <laughs> I don't know what my ending is yet. Help me.